Okay, in my hands is a Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, why is that important? Because I am trading this phone in for a Galaxy Note 8. I'm actually trading in two phones for Galaxy Note 8s because of the Galaxy Note 7 fiasco. If you trade in a phone, they're giving you up to $425 credit, which makes the Note 8 a little under $600 after taxes. So why am I recording um, this phone? And I'm recommending that everyone who takes advantage of the trade and do the same because you want visual proof that you traded in a functioning phone without any issues. If you look at forums from Android specific websites to uh, other tech sites, you'll see that Samsung's uh, trade in promotions don't always work as planned. And you have some people get denied for no apparent reason. And then they only give you a $25 credit and don't sh ship the phone back to you. So to, um, to make sure that doesn't happen, or if it does, to have visual evidence that you did submit a phone that didn't have any problems, I recommend actually taking video of your phone. So that's actually what I'm doing for this phone that I'm trading in. This is a S7 Edge that I received as part of my Note 7 um, recall. So you'll see that there is no damage to the bezels never been dropped, glass on the back is perfectly fine, and I'm also going to demonstrate on the front as well. So you can see that this phone works perfectly. Right now on the sides it looks funny because the screen protector is lifting off, but that also means it's been protected the whole time. So everything works well on the screen. There is no chipping or scratches on any of the screen. So again, this is just to make sure that in the event that Samsung tries to say that I sent them a defective phone, I can show that no, I didn't, this isn't damaged at all, and everything was working fine. Um, I'm not gonna show it here, but I'm all, what I also recommend is going into the settings and getting the, uh, the you know, the, the DEC number or the HEX number or the serial number for the specific phone that you're sending in just so um, they don't try to say anything otherwise. And you can see that this Galaxy S7 Edge is in perfect condition, will be turned in, and there shouldn't be any reasons why I get denied the 425 trade-in. But in the event that it does, I now have visual proof that um, something's up with their trade-in program, and I can argue the point with my credit card company as well. So if you're trading in, taking advantage of the promotion, highly recommend you do the same, whatever phone you're trading in, uh, show that it works, show that it isn't damaged, and claim that 425 for the Note 8.